Bond X trades on 15th March 2012 and you have to decide whether this bond trades cum interest or X interest and you also have to determine the accrued interest period for which accrued interest has to be calculated. Now we first have to look at what the coupon payment dates are. Now it's indicated there in the example that the coupon payment dates for bond X is 31st of March and the 30th of September. Okay, the transaction date is 15 March 2012. Now we have to decide what will be the previous coupon payment date and what will be the next coupon payment date. Now, so we are looking, the date we are looking at is 15 March 2012. Now, the previous coupon payment date for 15 March will be 30 September 2011. And the next coupon payment date will be the 31st of March 2012. The registered closing date preceding the next coupon payment date also has to be indicated and that will be one month before the co next coupon payment date so that will be the 28th of February 2012. Right and now we can also indicate a transaction date on the scheme so the transaction date will be after the register closing date, but before the next coupon payment date, the 31st, so it will fall somewhere here. That is the transaction date. Now we have to decide who owned this bond on the register closing date. Now this bond trades after the register closing date. Therefore, the person who first owned it, in other words, the seller, owned it on the register closing date. Who will receive the full coupon on the next coupon payment date? The seller will receive the full coupon because it belonged to the seller on the register closing date. But is that fair that the seller will receive the full coupon from 30 September to 31st of March? No, that's not fair because from the transaction date, the 15th of March, until the 31st of March, it belonged to the buyer. And that is a period of 16 days. So the buyer should actually receive interest for this period that it belonged to the buyer. So from 15 March 2012 until the next coupon payment date, 31st of March 2012, it belonged to the buyer. Therefore, the buyer has to be compensated for this period, which is 16 days from 15 March to 31st March. Now how will the buyer be con compensated? The buyer will be compensated by subtracting accrued interest from the clean price. So the buyer will pay the accrued interest amount less. Therefore the all-in price will be the clean price minus the accrued interest. And when we subtract the accrued interest from the clean price, we say that it trades X interest. So to summarize in the table, you will indicate that this bond on the 15th of March will trade X interest 
and the period for which accrued interest has to be calculated is from 15 March 2012 until 31st of March 2012.